And after the Amir Law case, uh, there were renewed calls to restrict or ban no-knock warrants on the federal level. What do you think about those bans on the federal level? Do you think that's something that is likely to pass or actually go uh, be enacted? Well, obviously, no one can predict what's going to happen at the federal level. Um, I'll, I'll note that last September, the Department of Justice did announce restrictions on federal agents' use of no-knock warrants, uh, and then the, the much more narrow than what is allowed by law. Uh, and under the new restrictions, no-knock warrants are generally limited to uh, situations where an agent has a reasonable ground to believe uh, to believe that knock knocking and announcing the agent's presence would create an imminent threat of physical violence to the agent or to another person. Uh, and you know, I think that that's something to consider uh, or to keep in mind. And President Biden himself has also said that he's looking at limiting other federal agents' use of uh, the tactic after the killing of Amir Locke in Minnesota this past February. Um, but one of the biggest proposed changes to no-knock warrants nationwide, as you know, I'm certain, is in the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act, uh, which would bar these warrants in federal drug investigations uh, and uh, provide incentives for states to do the same. Uh, I've been very clear in my support for the bill, uh, and I've joined, in fact, a coalition of several other colleagues of mine, attorneys general across the nation uh, from other states, to urge Congress to take action on this. But again, uh, predicting what Congress would do is something that's beyond the purview of all of us, I'm certain uh, you understand.